What's up guys, today I have an unboxing and overview of the MSI GeForce GTX 750 OC Edition graphics card. So let's take a look at the box itself, so at the front we have a lot of branding with some specifications while all the features and the system requirements are on the back. So the MSI GTX 750 comes with 1GB of GDDR5 memory, 512 stream processors, a clock speed of 1059MHz with a boost clock of 1137MHz and 5000MHz of effective memory. So let's open the box to see what comes inside. So first we have the graphics card itself in an anti-static bag, but let's put this on the side for a moment to see what else comes in the box. So it looks like we only have a driver CD and a quick start guide including the information about the MSI afterburner. So let's take a look at the graphics card itself, as you can see it's actually quite small, it won't take a lot of space in your cane since it's 21.2 cm long and 12 cm wide, so MSI went with an all black design with a nice black PCB except for the MSI branding which is written in white and a blue MSI sticker on the fan. The GTX 750 is one of the first cards to be built based on the Maxwell architecture, the next step in power efficiency which means less power and less heat. And because Maxwell is so efficient, the graphics card doesn't need a 6-pin connector. It will actually take all the power it needs from the PCI Express slot on the motherboard. At the top we have a fan to blow the heat away from the heatsink and for the connections you will get one DVI, one VGA and one HDMI port, so no display port. To install this graphics card you will need to remove two expansion slots on your case. So the MSI GTX 750 is another great budget card with decent features like Nvidia Surround, 3D and a 4K resolution, Nvidia Physics technology and also the included CUDA cores. This card would be great for a budget PC build, you can actually compare this card with the Sapphire R7-260X which I did a video on. In terms of specifications, the MSI GTX 750 is a little bit less powerful than the R7-260X but I will test this and compare it to the R7-260X to see what the real world performance of this card really is. But I think that both these cards will perform close to each other. Anyway, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, give this video a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe for the full review and comparison with the R7-260X and I see you in the next video.